For many people, it can be overwhelming to enter a gallery and be faced by so many artworks. This might be down to the abundance of choice, where to start first. All this visual richness can be overstimulating and it can be easy to drift through, quickly glancing at one or two pieces that catch your eye, taking no notice of the rest. For many of us though, being confronted by art can also cause anxieties around whether it's really something for us. If we haven't studied its history or the various techniques involved to produce an artwork, we might falsely believe we are not qualified to have an opinion or that we're not entitled to take our time to enjoy the works on display. In this film, I want to share some approaches you can take to reading an artwork, forming your own valid opinion based on the objective details in view and what you make of them. This will utilise and enhance your visual literacy skills, skills you use in everyday life to make sense of the world around you. In order to do this, I've come to Gallery 16 in Aberdeen Art Gallery, which is shoreline themed. In presenting various coastal views, this collection of works allows the viewer to make interesting comparisons between artistic approaches to the same subject. We're going to compare two landscape paintings by Scottish artists who feature heavily in the Grampian Hospital's Art Trust collection, Francis Walker and Sylvia Wishart. A former lecturer of drawing and painting at Gray School of Art, Francis Walker was a founding member of Peacock's Printmakers in Aberdeen and is one of Scotland's most highly regarded living artists. Sylvia Wishart was also taught at Gray's after studying there. She lived in Aberdeenshire for some time after being born and raised in Orkney. Firstly, let's look at Francis Walker's work. I won't tell you the title of this piece just yet. I want you to take some time to look at the work. Pause this video for around a minute and do nothing but look at the painting and take it in. Now, without looking back at the painting again, grab a pen and a piece of paper and sketch down as much of the image as you can remember. Don't worry about drawing a masterpiece. This is just for you to get an idea of what things stood out to you from the image. Pause the video again at this point and give yourself a couple of minutes to do your sketch. Now you've finished your sketch, let's look back at the work again. Take some time to compare and take notes on what you remembered, which features stood out to you most, what details didn't you remember. Is your sketch proportional? For all of these questions, consider why this is the case. Pause the video again to contemplate these questions and feel free to rewind to hear them repeated. We'll come back to Walker's painting again later, but for now, let's repeat the same process with Sylvia Wishart's work. As before, take some time to look at the work. Pause this video for around a minute and do nothing but look at the painting and take it in. Now, once again, without looking back at the painting, give yourself a couple of minutes to sketch down as much of the image as you can remember. Now you've finished your sketch, let's look back at the work again. Compare and take notes on what you remembered, which features stood out to you the most, what details didn't you remember, is your sketch proportional, and again, consider why for each one. Pause the video again to contemplate these questions. Now we're going to explore each piece further this time focusing more on the objective details we can decode about each work. Let's return again to Walker's painting. I will ask a series of questions focused on the choices the artist has made when creating this work. Note down your response to each one and feel free to pause the video at any point. For all of these questions, consider why these choices have been made. This work is titled Summer Day in the Dunes. How does the title relate to the work? Does it change your view of the work in any way? What is in the foreground of the work? What is in the background? What is the main focus of the work? Is there one? Has the artist conveyed a sense of space, distance or depth? What colours has the artist chosen? Do the colours complement or clash with one another? How do they reflect the mood of the piece? How is light depicted in the work? Think about the medium of paint itself. Are the artist's brushstrokes visible? 
is the paint laid on thickly or applied smoothly to the canvas. Now let's do the same process again with Wishart's painting. Once again, note down your response to each question and feel free to pause the video at any point. Remember to consider why the artist has made these choices in your response. This work is titled Bird's Eye View of a Beach. How does the title relate to the work? Does it change your view of the work in any way? What is in the foreground of the work? What is in the background? What is the main focus of the work? Is there one? Has the artist conveyed a sense of space, distance or depth? What colours has the artist chosen? Do the colours complement or clash with one another? How do they reflect the mood of the piece? How is light depicted in the work? Think about the medium of paint itself. Are the artist's brush strokes visible? Is the paint laid on thickly or applied smoothly to the canvas? Take some time to look back at your sketches and notes and compare the similarities and differences between these two works. After this, look back at each image and consider how much your view of the artwork has changed since you first observed each work. Now have a go at using the same process with a different artwork and see how much taking time to observe and ask questions about art can enhance your visual literacy skills and improve your confidence in talking about art.